Meet Gianni Montalvo. He's the ripe old age of three months. Though most baby boys Gianni's age are circumcised within a few days of birth, he was two months old before his mom made up her mind to have the procedure done. She was afraid her baby boy would be in pain. I was a little nervous. I was worried at the same time because I would cry. Every time he would get a, a shot, I would cry. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine him going through that. I'm just going to be a total mess. Lillian was getting advice from everyone in the family for and against having Gianni circumcised. Time was of the essence because for newborns up to the age of two months and 10 pounds, a circumcision is relatively easy to perform because the baby doesn't move too much. But after three months, little baby boys are not likely to sit still while being circumcised. Either way, doctors say that circumcisions are routine and not as painful as they sound. Discomfort then usually is that little babies don't like to be uh, restrained and uh, they get angry at being restrained or uh, uncomfortable, but it's usually not a painful experience. With newborns, circumcision can be performed using only local anesthetic. But the older a boy gets, the greater the chance that he'll require more powerful general anesthesia. Concerns about a baby's discomfort aside, parents usually consider cosmetic and cultural reasons when making the decision to circumcise their baby. So for a Jewish family, it is of the ultimate importance. Uh, in the Torah, the Bible, it says that on the eighth day you will circumcise the flesh of the foreskin. And so for thousands of years, Jewish families have been circumcising their babies. There are also medical considerations. For instance, during a baby boy's first year, about one in 1,000 circumcised boys come down with a urinary tract infection. But in uncircumcised boys, it's one in 100. Still, the medical benefits are not enough for the American Academy of Pediatrics to recommend routine circumcision for all boys. I think really parents need to look at both sides of the equation. Uh, and come to a decision that, that is comfortable for them based upon their own uh, cultural and uh, religious and uh, social beliefs. If parents choose to have their son circumcised, it's critical that some type of anesthetic is used. Other than that, moms and dads just have to remember to be a little extra careful when handling their son after the procedure is done. But after a few days, things should be back to normal. To the relief of his parents, Gianni was happy and bubbly about a week after the circumcision. Everything turned out fine and it's going to be a better future for him. 